what is today, but yesterday's tomorrow. So guys, it's now 10.01. Yeah, I'm a minute late. You know what? I started early for you guys yesterday. I can be late if I want. Nobody cares. It's not going to matter for you guys after it's posted. It only matters in the moment when I actually do it. But nobody really cares. Only I care. That's that's the psychological thing. What? Now it's 10.02. I don't know about you, but I should get started. September 24th is the date. There you go. In case anyone actually guessed, which I don't think anyone would. Just making sure I'm getting everything ready. What? I've already gotten everything ready, just making sure everything works. Oh, I'm so thirsty. I haven't really drank anything all day. Or rather drank just water. <clears throat> so yes, today was my CPR class. I'm gonna tell you guys the story about it, or rather I'm gonna try my best to, because there's a lot of voice acting in this part of the game. So let's see... Uh, no, that says new. That definitely says new. Three days in a row? What do you mean three? This is like day, day like five or six in a row. Where is she? Yeah. Yep. Nine. That definitely says new. So yes, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try my best to tell you guys about the story of my CPR class today. But like I said, there's a lot of voice acting. So we'll have to see how it goes. Case in point. Enact the voice oh, acting. Honey. Wait a second. I thought it was just going to start me off with her. Hmm. Okumura Foods. That was unexpected, huh? And then your principal committed suicide. The public blames the Phantom Thieves for both incidents. But something doesn't add up. Maybe you're rubbing off on me. <laughs> I wish. Stop. But I guess a journalist uh, got to question everything. <sighs> I've been stuck at work lately, so I haven't had any decent food. I got some decent food, follow me back to my place! I wish I could go get so go eat sushi, not go get, now that I got my bonus. Oh, did you bring me some Phantom Thieves info? Ah, oh, I don't think my bond will deepen just yet, damn it! Hold on, let me oh, think yeah? about it first. So I can not either go with her, Hifumi, or who else? Wasn't it Oya? No, not Oya. She is Oya. Wasn't it Shihaya? However you pronounce her name, the fortune teller. <laughs> oh, no, it's just her. Well, I'm gonna go with her. Just so I could finish her off next time. I guess. Uh, never mind. I guess there is no voice acting here. Uh, yeah. Sounds good to me. I'll treat you, of course. Ooh! I was about to offer, but then you said you got your bonus. <laughs> so let's see. Today's CPR class, I've been dreading it for, like, the better part of, what, two months now? We all know the story. I was supposed to get this thing done last month, but the class was full, so I put down $25 to be on the wait list. And nobody, nobody backed out. So the class was still full, and I was not given back my $25. I basically donated 25 bucks to the school. Still pissed at that, by the way. So I, uh, I got delayed a month to take it, because I think they only do it like once every month. So I had to do it today. So let's see. I set my alarm for... Well, I always set two alarms, uh, just because, like, just in case, 
you know, you wake up on the one and only alarm you set, you're like five more minutes, close your eyes, and then like two hours pass. So I always set my I always set two alarms. So that way you get up on the first one, you're like, okay, I know I set a second one, let me now I can safely rest my eyes. You know, as long as you don't silence your phone, assuming you're using your phone as the alarm. I always make sure I hit the snooze and make sure the sound is still on. So I set my alarm for 6.30 and 7 a.m. So I got up at 6.30 and then I lied back down for a half, another half hour. And then I thought, you know what? I have time. I'm going to change it to 7.15. Thanks. I mean, I got up around like 7.10, but that's besides the point. I just couldn't fall back asleep. I was upset. So I was up since 6.30. The festival seems to be a success. There's definitely a lot more people than last year. Well, yeah. This place got famous and all. Phantom Thieves, Kamoshida, Principal Kobayakawa. On top of that, we got Akechi as a guest. There may be police officers in plain clothes, too. Yeah, we got Actually, cops among us. We probably are here. We better be careful about what we discuss. How about we just like don't discuss Phantom Thieves stuff here? Important. What do you normally do at a school festival? Look around at the exhibits and eat stuff? There's no set rules for this kind of thing. Walk around and hang out, like when we went to the beach. Uh, yeah, just just enjoy yourself. I think I can do it if I've got everyone with me. You're so laid back. There's a possibility that your name and Ryuji's have come up. A number of but the why teachers specifically have been questioned Ryuji's? before, and even we were interviewed the other day, too. Don't let your guard down too much. It's true that the initial members have been at this for a long time, making it easier to get tracked. All right. Now, now, let's leave it at that. We just need to be mindful about what we're saying, correct? The initial members, but oh, she only called um, out Ryuji, not on. You seem to be having quite a lot of fun, Haru. You did mention that you were looking forward to this. I want to go around with everyone, and eat at the refreshment stands. This will be a great change of pace from all the nasty stuff lately. She's grieving awfully well. Shall we head well. off to the stands then? Let's do it. All right. This is your first time at our school festival. And my only time, because I'm leaving good. after this year. From what I've heard. I know a great one. Follow me. So I've been up since 6.30. The only rest I've gotten is like the... A brief, the place. a brief nap in the car. Made takoyaki? New customers! I'll show you all to your seats. So, it's your classes stand. It's still a refreshment stand, isn't it? It's like a deserted island here. Well, I guess it's good for talking since there aren't any people here. Except the staff. We heard a lot of rumors even on our way here. And it was all bullshit. Here she comes. Act normal. Who cares? There's nothing normal about this anymore. Welcome home. May I take your order? Take my order? W what happened to the maid atmosphere? <laughs> there are a lot of odd flavors. Imagine you say that to a Stick waiter to a at, a, one. To, at a, a, a restaurant. I'm so sorry. We sold our last normal one to the previous customer. The hell? Well then. I'll have the mentai cheese takoyaki. I'm sorry, we're out of cod bro. Then how about the squid? Um, we're currently out catching squid. No, It'll you're not. Take another five or six hours. That doesn't even sound remotely possible. Ain't this whole menu just a sham? Actually, we spent most of our budget on making the maid costumes look nice. We have we mushroom much pie. Oh, I can see that. Name where that's from. Yuji, you're making a scene. The whole menu was then, not available, only a mushroom would you pie. With what you have now? That would be the Russian takoyaki. We'll have that, please. This will take a little time. 
uh, let's forget about the octopus and get back on topic. On that note, hearing Kamoshida being almost treated like a victim makes me want to eat my stress away. I've even heard conjecture that the principal was targeted for reasons like he knew too much. I kept hearing about Goro Akechi's popularity. All thanks to the Phantom Thieves. You know, did that Akechi guy agree to show up here because he believes we didn't kill anybody? Or he may simply love large gatherings. I don't think he does. Oh, true. He didn't seem like he minded being pampered by the media at all. Pretty sure he did inside. We plan on stealing intel, but we might fall into another trap. I'm gonna be bummed if that happens. Uh, is the takoyaki done yet? Uh, you know what? I I want to I want to know what they say. I'm gonna say it. You are so carefree. Does it mean that you have nerves of steel in any situation? Still, it doesn't change the fact that we don't know what Akechikun is planning. Thank you for the wait. Ooh, it's fresh made. No, it ain't. Lies. I heard a microwave go off. It's fresh frozen. Well, it's not like I was expecting crispy takoyaki at a school festival or anything. So, what makes this a Russian takoyaki? Could there be jam in it as a secret ingredient? That sounds quite delicious. Well, one of these is special. Just one. <laughs> one. Uh, one of them's obviously red. That's gotta be the one. Dude, don't tell me the Russian part means... It's like, going for the obvious one is manly. Hell no. Is that so? Well, I'd prefer the most beautifully shaped one. But all of them are mistaken. Shit. If I was, uh, if oh, I was with a group of girls and they say the going, going for the, the spice, one. if they say going for the spicy Wait, ones manly, so I guess I'm a wuss in their it? eyes. Do you want to go for the red one? Not a chance, but as the game character, I'll take it. Me though, I, I, I can't handle spicy food. Absolutely not. I drink a whole carton of milk just to eat the instant spicy noodles. Ooh, and I'm not kidding. Everyone's all here. The, the panel isn't until tomorrow, though. I came to check out the venue. I can't make any mistakes, since a lot of people will be present. Someone's eager. But people ended up recognizing me. Everyone bombarded me with questions. That's because you were sloppy. I grew tired of the baseless rumors they kept bringing up. So I escaped to where there weren't any people. I'm going to have one of these. <gasps> the special one! Let's just call this my performance fee. Oh, you just had to go for that one. It's fine. Hmm. It's quite the... <clears throat> Eating it in one bite is a bad idea. <gasps> my throat. This is... Uh, oh, my stomach. It burns. If only you guys can see how how okay? how hard Jimmy I'm Moore. smiling right now. Uh, uh, I'm I'm fine. I just love uh spicy spicy stuff. <laughs> hey, does he sound broken to you? Well then, I'll I'll see you uh t t tomorrow. Wow, he's really trying to hold it together. He's waddling around like some comedian. It's like he wants to get picked up for some commercial or something. Up. Oh. But did he truly come to simply check the venue? Certainly didn't come to this burn his good. mouth out. I keep suspecting every little thing. I know what you mean. I'm doing the same too. I need to do my best tomorrow. We need to somehow get him to be our source of intel. I'm gonna pull this off no matter what. That a catchy guy. When he got here, didn't he say that everyone's all here? Everyone? I don't see you're, him in Smash. You're just imagining things. You know, everybody is here. The most manly, the most quote manly so thing to do. Wait. I guess we got through all of it, okay? I don't know why my dogs are barking. The most manly thing to do is. Wait, wait. The most manly thing 
is to admit that you're not eating something that that kills your mouth and toilet and avoid it. Yes, but the associated mental fatigue was extraordinary. Being cautious takes a lot out of you. Seriously, I think I'm as tired now as I am after midterms. You guys want to know my, why my dogs are barking? I didn't mind any of that. I just love seeing that detective gulp down the special takoyaki. My sister just came home. I had fun as well, since I got to spend time with you all. She went out for dinner. What would you like to do now, Haru? Walk around a little more? Her boyfriend might be I here too. I appreciate the gesture, but I'm satisfied with stopping here. Why don't we go home and rest up? We'll have to deal with Akechi-kun again tomorrow, after all. I have to agree. What will his next move be? If the most manly thing really is to just admit, oh? you know, what what you're not willing to eat or whatever. You know something my dad always tells me? He always tells me, like, if a girl, if a girl's interested in you and she likes spicy food, are you going to deny? Well, he doesn't really say spicy food part, but it's implied. He What he really does that. say is, you know, if a, if a girl wants to drink with you because you don't drink... What are you gonna do then, son? And there's also the fact that I don't go on roller coasters, any rides, Fun. nothing. And he's like, yeah, what if a girl one day likes roller coasters? Are you just gonna sit it all out? I'm uh, just like, yeah. Yes. Uh, too bad. Sorry. Too bad for the both of us, but yeah. So yeah, anyways, uh. Whatever. Uh, so let's let's see. Back to the story. So let's see. I woke up extra early this morning because you know I had to get a lot of stuff ready. I had to. I, I had to. Uh, well, I mostly just had to prepare. I had to. I had to shave. Great. I had to do that. And then I had to, you know, give my body enough time for the internal functions to wake up so that I can I can actually take a poo that early in the morning. And then after I've done that, I take a shower. And then after I took a shower, you know, I made my instant coffee because I had to get up so early. And I also made myself breakfast. I made, I, I just had dinner rolls in the fridge and I put, then I just cooked up two scrambled eggs. And then, you know, I ate, I was getting ready to leave. So, you know, I, I pulled a big brain move at this moment. I didn't prepare myself a lunch preemptively. Is that the right word? Instead, what I did was I grabbed a container from my kitchen. You know, one of those containers that you can, like, pack a sandwich into. So I grabbed one of those. I told my dad, if you're going to go get morning coffee this early, then I'll just order something. And I did. So I, I went to the Tim Hortons drive-thru and I got a cream cheese bagel and I shoved it into my container and I saved it for lunch. And I actually ate lunch like a normal person this time, around like 12 o'clock. Instead of that being like my breakfast. I had, I actually ate more of a normal schedule today. I had breakfast at like 8 in the morning, lunch at noon. <laughs> but dinner I still had like, um, I like... 7, 8 o'clock-ish. Oh, 2 out of 3 is still a pass. You know, I actually had quite a, uh, quite a carnivorous dinner tonight. Let me think. I had steak, chicken wings, sausages, jumbo shrimp. Well, uh... What am I forgetting? Oh, 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 right. Uh, I had char siu pork, or as a, a person with an actual Asian... Accent would say it's ha siu. So yeah, I, I had quite a lot of meats tonight. Hmm. No rice, you know, because all the meats was already filling enough. The only, the only actual like vegetables and greens I had were leftover carrots, deep fried potatoes, you know, fries, and uh, some. Guac, and I use guac very sparingly, like quote unquote guac. The last time I bought avocados to make guacamole, there were three large avocados, but my family said, you know, two's enough. We'll, we'll save the last one, the third one, for later on. And that was several weeks ago. 
So I wasn't even sure if that last avocado in my fridge was still edible. Like if, if it had rotten inside yet. Nope, it was still edible. It was just mushy. So I, I use guac sparingly. Because it, was, it wasn't really guac. It wasn't really like, you know, mashed up. It was just large chunks of cut up avocado. With pieces of pieces of cilantro put into it and because my mom was uh, too lazy to add to like cut a lemon in half to put lemon juice into it she used some cooking vinegar instead so it was just large chunks of avocado couple of a uh, couple of cilantro and some it's more, yeah, it's more of an avocado salad. There you go. There was no tomatoes, no red onions, not even salt in it. It, it was just very... Yeah, I prefer I prefer lemon. Lemon to pair with my avocado, actually. But that, that's all besides the point. So that's what I had for dinner. I know I said I had a steak Indeed. for dinner last night. Thank you. I wasn't planning to cook a steak tonight. But, you know, uh... I'll, I'll just skip forward to and skip forward in the story. When I got home, oh, yes, you know, I tried to go to bed, tried to take a nap, but because I I slept halfway in the car, yeah, I couldn't fall asleep. So, but by, by the time my mom got home from work, she's just like, yeah, I brought a, I, I, I brought a, I, I bought a steak, so let's cook it. The steak I had for dinner last night, you know, the one I I went to that cafe to eat. My sister, she's a very light eater, so she only ate half her steak and saved the other half for my mom. And she didn't eat it last night, or she didn't eat all of it. So she had her remaining half the steak, and I just cooked up another one. So I had steak for two nights in a row. Wait, two nights in a row for dinner. But I'm getting off topic. So uh, back to the story about CPR. So let me think. Uh, by the time I got to my school campus... I I got there at like like All right. eight fifty, and the class started at nine a.m. So you know I was cutting it close because uh, I still didn't didn't even know where the classroom was, and because I chugged down a bunch of coffee in the morning, I had to go pee real bad. So the first thing I did when I got to campus was I I took a piss, and then I had to find where this classroom was. I tried for like a couple minutes, I couldn't find it. I went to go find someone to help. So there's a bunch of student volunteers, I think, at the front of the building. So I asked one of them. She said, oh, you're looking for this room? Go downstairs, take a left, walk straight. It's around there. So I went downstairs. I couldn't find, I couldn't find the room. Normally in the hallways, there are signs that says room. And they're like a range, like for an example, like rooms one to five go this direction rooms six to ten go this direction for an example so i couldn't find it but luckily like two i don't know two custodians were just walking by they saw me struggling to find where i'm going one of them offered help like where are you looking for like where are you going and i i said well, i said which classroom and he's like oh just walk straight in it's on your right i'm like thank you and i had to rush over so I got to the classroom at precisely 9 a.m. I was there dead ass on time. At least I wasn't late. You know, prefer to be early, but if you're on if you're exactly on time, it's still better than late. You know, as as uh, Sam Wilson said, there's no such thing as on time. You're either early or you're late. I may not quote that. I may I may not uh, may not have said that quote perfectly, but you know what I mean. Uh, at least the the instructor I had was nice. You know, it was a middle-aged white lady. She was she was nice. At least she wasn't strict. Apologies for disappearing. Wait, who just said that? Oh, Yusuke said that. I wasn't paying attention. Notice how none of the guys ever take a picture of the group. It's always like on taking pictures. So uh, here's the uh, 
Here's the shitty thing. Pun absolutely intended. So I woke up early to, you know, give myself some time to actually have to use the bathroom. I guess this morning I only, like, emptied half the tank, if you know what I mean. Because the moment I was about to leave the house, the moment I walked right past the front door, I'm just like, damn, I kind of have to go again. But it's like, it's too late. I don't have time. I have to make it there. And clearly, I didn't have enough time to, you know, once I made it to campus, go right before. So my idea was, okay, I can go at break time. So break time came at like a, like an hour and a half in at like 10.30 in the morning, I think. And the break was only 10 minutes. So, you know, I considered going. I considered using the, the school's public bathroom, which isn't ideal. You know, it's not, it's not completely sanitary, but, you know, when you gotta go, you gotta go. I considered it, but I didn't, I did not end up doing that. And then I thought, okay, maybe not now. Maybe when it's lunchtime, because I, I know we get like 30 minutes for lunch. Okay, so nothing to buy here. So when it came lunchtime, actually genuinely around like noon, I think it was more like 12.15 and we had to get back by like 12.45. I don't think I can go anywhere, no. <laughs> let's play some games. Oh. Wait, no, no, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's watch The Running Dead. Viewing the onslaught of zombies will build guts as you watch guts. <sighs> the hell is this? How the hell are the dead running about? Have you been bitten? Show me your arms. You haven't been scratched or bitten, have you? What's the city? Atlanta? For real? Talking about talk about a dead man walking. I saw dogs in there too, but not a single cat. Yeah, you don't often see cats in The Walking Dead. What? Wow! What a lax pose you got there, Morgana. Anyways, um... So lunchtime came, I brought out my food. I did not use the bathroom. And as of this moment, I still haven't. Well, then. You know, I've been carrying half the load all day. Because you absolutely needed to know that. Probably just gonna, you know, explode tomorrow morning. If you know what I mean. Well, then. We will now begin today's panel. I did buy Starbucks, though. Because my campus, we actually have, well, several Starbucks inside the campus. I'm sure you all would have been happier to have a singer or a mascot appear, wouldn't you say? But only one Starbucks was open. I got a... What, what was it? I got a large... Large mango dragon fruit lemonade. I'm not used to being the one interrogated, so please go easy. I was about to get a Frappuccino, but then I saw those on the menu. Like, oh, they actually have here. How much do you think he knows? He knows everything. He talks about the Phantom Thieves are dangerous, yet he says they haven't committed any murders. Like he, he has. He has an idea who the true culprit is. Because he is the or true culprit. he has uncovered the identities of the Phantom Thieves. He uncovered us long ago. Come on, Makoto. You gotta get it out of him. As much as you're allowed to say, would you tell us how far along your investigation is on them? I know their true identities right points to towards us. Well, if it's as much as I'm allowed to say, then everything on TV and the internet is all of it. We don't have any leads yet, and the methods behind their crimes are still unclear. I see. Even with this country's power, arresting them is proving to be difficult. Is that the case? I wouldn't phrase it that way, but... Well, something like that. Makoto right in front of us is like, phew, that's a Thank relief to hear. By the way, it seems you've denied a correlation between the Phantom Thieves and the murders. 
Why the sudden change? Until now, haven't you upheld your stance that the Phantom Thieves are dangerous? How are you so positive that they haven't committed murder? Oh, because I was the one who committed those murders. Are you a little too comfortable interrogating people? Why, it's as if you're a prosecutor. It's as if you're a murderer, Akechi. <laughs> I was the one who killed Okumura. God, imagine if they actually did that. Imagine if Akechi just flat out said it, and everyone thought it was a joke. She's pelting in with questions. Every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals, including Okumura. Why then was he the only one who needed to be killed? Yes, tell us that. Tell us the reason, Akechi. Please, please, go ahead. I must admit, I couldn't deduce a reason. Man. That's why I believe that, that case should be thought of as if a different party is responsible. He lying his ass off right now. This is all hypothetical, my dear. No, it's not. If the Phantom Thieves are the ones I know of, I can't possibly imagine they would kill anyone. Alright, that's relieving to hear. Your comment just now. Does this mean the police have already identified who they are? Ooh, you see Makoto sweating. Uh, no, the police haven't gotten that far. Phew, sigh of relief. Wipe the sweat yeah, off my, my forehead. Conclusions about the true identities of the Phantom Thieves. And then points to all of us. He's gotta be bluffing. He's looking directly at us. No, he's not. He's looking at Makoto. He's lying, right? But this camera oh, angle doesn't help. Truth. You're not going to ask me. That was a pretty smart response, it's actually. Only my personal opinion, so announcing that here would pose a problem. However, there is a possibility that everyone present will hear the truth before the police or media. The truth? What's he planning on saying? That's quite the confidence you have. If you're so certain, then very well. I think you are one, Makoto. That idiot! No. There's no way he could have any evidence. They're people you all know quite well. The identity of the Phantom Thieves are... Oh, it's mine. I apologize for the interruption, but I can't turn off my phone due to my job. Would you mind if I step away for about ten minutes or so? Damn, just gotta tease the crowd. I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but we'll be taking a break. We'll resume the panel in ten minutes. Please don't troll me online for this interruption, okay? I'm amazed you don't hear the crowd booing. Is there a room I may use? There's the PE faculty office. I want you to come too. There's a matter I want to discuss. Your friends from yesterday are here, aren't they? Can you bring them too, if that's all right? Did you set this up? We only have 10 minutes, you know. What do you want to talk about? I don't about? remember if Desire plays here. If it does, I will mute. No.
God, I hate this song. Just gotta mute it every time. I couldn't identify his face. He had a mask on after all. He is lying Actually, so much. I, took these photos, I saw another I culprit. It was too. me. Mwahaha. I saw someone else moving about. You mean you? All of you. Look at that Shot portrait of you. He noticed me. That's you, Akechi. <laughs> That's who killed President Okumura. I mean, most you likely. killed President Okumura. At the very least, I was almost killed by him. No, you are him. him. I need to determine the truth. When those thoughts overcame me. I awakened to that power. Lies. A most fortunate accident. Make up a pretty good story there, Akechi. Almost convincing. This cat. I swear, it just talked. Morgana, our teammate who taught us about the metaverse. <laughs> really? This is unbelievable. I think he may be genuine about that. that I think he that actually don't. didn't know about Morgana, though. Say, Morgana. Were you also the one who instructed them on how to change people's hearts? I experienced that world too. But I still haven't solved that mystery yet. We go in the metaverse, or we call them palaces, to steal the core of their desires, their treasure, and those whose treasure has been stolen have a change of heart. Ah. <laughs> well, there's certainly no way anyone could figure out such an MO. Anyways, back to what you were talking about. Are we in this mess because of that guy? Because of you, Akechi? Although I don't completely understand the method, all you do is simply reform people. Someone else is behind the murders. However, yeah, the you. police have decided that the Phantom Thieves did it. They'll arrest you at this rate. They're going to treat me as my father's murderer? I can't overlook such a grave mistake, which is precisely why I want us to strike a deal. I may be able to save you from this situation, no, that's not your intention in the slightest. I would like you to cooperate with me on investigating the truth. And if we decline? Then I think I'll have to inform the police about all of you. Along with that video I mentioned. Hey, you even know this we're innocent. No deal, it's blackmail! Say what you will. This is the method that I believe is correct. The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. Justice. You've heard that Sai-san is the one spearheading the investigation about you Phantom Thieves, correct? You know what's interesting to keep in mind? only with settling the case. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the commotion. All our protagonist the knows Akechi's lying his ass off right now. I can now. only imagine her impatience. What of evidence that keep we Keep that in mind. We know he's lying. Even Every word. No objective explanation to the method. It's over once causality is established. Sai Sun can't make rational judgments at the moment. If she were to be cornered, well, she may even make up a confession. Make it up? So they're gonna make it all our fault just because they feel like it? We haven't killed anyone though, and we're still going to be arrested? You'll be found guilty if you're caught, and it will be treated as a very serious crime. Bullshit! None of that makes any sense! Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do alone anymore to stop the flow of things. And that's why you want our cooperation. Yes. In return, I'll turn a blind eye to what you've done. Those are my conditions. That said, I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves after this. What should we do about Akechi san's proposal? You know, we had every intention to disband after this, but more, more and more reasons just keep on popping up. You know, we a, a freaking sequel to this game was made. Well, kinda. It was more of like a spin-off sequel-ish. Kinda, but not when talking to Psy cause drugs. Drugs are bad. Uh, you are demanding a lot. I see. I thought I was making a lot of concessions myself. We have no intention of following following well, through with your deal, you don't just have like to you. Decide at the moment. Considering this is you we're talking about, I believe you'll come to a favorable reply. Don't count on I'm it. I'm glad we could talk. It's been a while since I've been able to spend such a meaningful time like this. Yeah, you've been too busy for us to hang I out. Look forward to your answer. It was <sighs> definitely worth coming today, for various reasons. We should be getting back. About that. I'm sorry. 
Would it be acceptable if we ended the panel here? Damn. The reason why you called for me in the first place was because you wanted intel, correct? Every student's gonna be so well. disappointed. I'll deal with it somehow. Damn it! He had complete control over us! Hey, they're going! Yeah, yeah, notice this, notice this right here, notice this, yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We'll go back to that later on. You know, Akechi could very much... To make up for the time that was planned for this panel. He could Rock very easily just like... Oh, before I go, the, the identities of the Phantom Thieves are so-and-so. Bye now! I can't say anything in detail regarding the Phantom Thieves investigation. But I feel another great stride will occur again soon. He said investigation. I hope you all continue to pay attention But that didn't to mean he... He was, he was almost willing to, you know... Let's have a big round of applause for today's With huge quotations. Expose the names. Was that really our best course of action? He totally used Makoto's suggestion against us. Indeed. What the hell was that? Who who we just shouted that last part? I think it would play out like this. So what? We'll just accept his deal? He's got evidence on us. We really don't have a choice. Damn it! What are we gonna do? Calm down, Ryuji. How am I supposed to calm down? What are we gonna do? What's done is done. We'll have to cool our heads and think more on this. We must make up our minds by the time he contacts us again. We need to give this a lot of thought. Similar occurrences followed in succession earlier this spring. Although things have quieted down until recently, several incidents have occurred once again. Furthermore, new information has come to light uh -oh. about the suspect. You see what's on Sojiro's counter? Shutdown. He had received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. Oh God, no! Let me mute this once again. Well, the post festival at least it was party short. is about to begin in the gymnasium. Please join us, everybody. We know what part of the game this is. Post festival is. party? I thought this thing was over. Eh, nobody invited you to it, so let's just go home. Damn, you gotta you gotta bring it up like that? Like huh? nobody invited Sometime, you to it? Aren't you going to the post festival party? Yeah, no, nobody invited me to it. Ah, <laughs> uh, I was about to head out. Since we've run into each other on our own, why not go together? Absolutely. People say these kinds of events should be enjoyed with others, so let's go have some fun. <laughs> it seems like it's already begun. Let's get in there, senpai. <coughs> <coughs> Remember last time I played this? Like this part of the game, this moment. I thought they just completely cut out the vanilla portion. So I've talked all about it right before it was gonna happen. Wow, actual character animations! They don't really do that often. Rut your stuff. Just standing around while everyone dances is embarrassing. Senpai, let's do it. Oh hell no. I've been in this position before. I've been put on the spotlight to dance and I completely backed out because I have no rhythm. But 
We're in a video game right now. Let's bust a move. Yo, look at how fly my man is. I have no dance abilities in the slightest. Hey, you're Yoshizawa son, right? The first year? We've got a little favor to ask you. I'm not kidding, I really was put in that spotlight before. And I immediately backed out, like, nope, not happening. Senpai, I'll be back soon. They've asked me to help them with something. Just wait here and watch what happens. I kid you not, I can't dance for dear life. Yay, anime. That was beautiful. I left the party with Sumire to cool off for a bit. Outside. <laughs> there was a word still there. That was so exhausting, but what a blast. I feel like I danced my heart out back there. I could tell as great as I expected. Ah. Uh, yeah, sure. <sighs> Thank you. Wow. That dance was amazing. I know, right? I was totally blown away. <laughs> uh, it's my dad. He's telling me to come home before it gets too late. Sorry to leave you like this, but I have to get going. Uh, want me to walk you? Thank you. I'll be all right, though. The post-festival party was so much fun, especially with you. See you soon! Does she not have any other friends at this school? I guess she might be too busy. But, uh, you know what? I assume what my dad, what, what I said, my dad said to me before, would probably apply to this too. If a girl wanted to dance with you, what would you do? Well, I'm already losing there. Because, uh, you know, I don't drink, I don't go on rides, I don't dance. <laughs> what fun am I? Do you have any plans after this? All the girls are bombarding me with questions about a Ketchikun. I don't know any of the answers they want either. Oh, I know. Why don't we go to the post-festival party together? Looks like I've received some messages. Like, several messages. The post-festival party is about to begin. Would you like to go together? I tried to talk about what happened earlier. Yeah, I read that right. But that has gotten me nowhere. Why am I reading this, all this stuff out loud? 
You know what? Why not? So, could I... Pfft, never mind. Whatever Haru said at the end there. Are you still at school? I wonder what we should do about the deal he offered. Anyway, want to go to the post-festival party together? I feel anxious being alone. Oh, more? Of course there's more. There's still Kawakami. Are, are you going... <laughs> I have to stay at school for work, but... That's it. That's it. That's all. More? I assume this one's Ryuji. Yep. Post festival party and try to calm down. No Yusuke? We can't really decide on what Akechi was saying anyways. I'm still pretty pissed though. Well, Mishima's here with me. Mishima's here with me. You should join us. Ah. Uh... <coughs> Excuse me. And you know what? I can't... I can't... Oh, I can, but... I really shouldn't just keep on reloading the save file and show you all these because, well, you saw how much I did. Well, I don't think I saved the game. I don't think I saved the game. I had a chance to save right before Akechi. I don't think I saved the game, though. So I would have to start all the way at the beginning. I would have to hang with Oya again. I can only pick one. I'm literally dating everyone except Haru here. You know, not counting the guys. Uh, I went with On during the Hawaii trip. I know she'll be pretty upset, you know, that I if I don't go with her this time. Or I could go I could go bros before hoes. Mm. Can I be honest with you guys? I'm kind of going I'm kind of siding with Makoto here. Why? Because like I said, I went with On during Hawaii. And technically I wasn't with Makoto then. Oh my god, On is gonna be so upset. And so was Kawakami. Haru, we're not together yet. <laughs> and well, I keep on just ghosting my boys. I'm gonna go for it. Makoto it is! And you can't stop me! Where did I even leave off with, uh, on my CPR story? I think I left off at like lunch. I bought Starbucks. And uh... All right. that was a great performance by the dance club. I guess, I, I, I guess I'll have to continue after this. I can stop you. I know where you live. My apologies for being so distracted. I can't stop thinking about Akechi-kun. Visible really concern. No for him? Ah, uh, he's a tough foe. Uh, just relax for now. You're right. What's done is done. We should enjoy ourselves for the time being. And now it's time for your favorite shujin tradition, the student sharing special. Is this like a wallpaper behind us, or is this how the gym actually looks? For some reason, it reminds me of this like a event circus is tent. Never very popular. The older teachers seem to enjoy it for some reason, though. Yeah, I'm sure Kawakami would. If she was here with me right now, I'm sure she would enjoy it. I'll just have to pick someone then. Oh, he's choosing from the crowd? The MC this year is actually somewhat capable. Ooh, is that our lovely student council president over there? Huh? Do I have to go? He picked you. Are you going to ignore him? I'll never forget you. Give my man some character. I'll never forget you. That's not really the proper use for that phrase. Everybody's waiting for you, Miss President. <sighs> you, you, you guys know what line I'm about to say. The options that are coming up, you know what I'm gonna say. Like, 
Bruh. Why you gotta bring all that stuff up? I see what you put in chat there. Going in for the kill. I was going to say about their true identities. Some people theorize that they go to our very school. So, are they from Shujin? What do you think, Miss President? What do I think? Makoto is in trouble. I need to change the subject. You have a boyfriend. You're cute. I always loved you. You're cute. Ah! Uh, why am I even hesitating? I knew what was what I was gonna pick, anyways. And my boy put in the chat. If I say this, she'll reply. And I love you too, random citizen. My boy has no chill. He's like, I need to change the subject. Just stands up and just shouts it. No hesitation. What do you mean that you think it was him? He's clearly standing. So, Miss President, what's your relation to this guy? I love you too, random citizen. Relation? My, she's right as a beat. Uh, is this recorded? I would love to get this footage. Alright, at least he knows when to call it quit. <laughs> Come on, MC, do your job! I made a fool of myself. No, I did that. And I'm not sorry about it. Long before. By the way, I'm surprised you were able to say what you did back there. No hesitation. Uh I couldn't I couldn't ignore you. Huh? I was at a complete loss for words. You really helped me. Thank you. This may be a little rude to say, but you were surprisingly reliable in a pinch. My sister always says if I get married, my husband should be someone dependable like that. Mm? Oh, um, uh, forget what I just said. I will not. <laughs> I will not forget what you just said. Uh, yeah, can you say that again? Oh. Despite everything that happened, hey, 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 don't change the subject. My final post festival party has turned out to be quite the unforgettable one. Oh, right. Here. Makoto Donuts. If you'd accept this, I hope you enjoy it. Come, let's go home. Oh, so many people are going to be pissed at me that I didn't choose some of the other options. Or that I'm not going to show the other ones. No, you only get one. Just like you only got one during Hawaii. Hawaii. I'm romancing all of them this run, aren't I? You at least get that. Or at least I'm gonna try to do that. Let's see if I have enough time to max out everyone. Welcome home. You took off somewhere. Oh, that's festival, right. Huh? This. I tried to find you, but I gave up pretty quickly. I think desire might play Daba? again. What are you doing here in front of the store? I needed to calm my brain. My thoughts were getting out of hand. Not just a catchy, but other stuff too. We're in deep trouble unless we can do something soon. 
and well, luckily I was just thinking about going inside so your timing is perfect yeah luckily you Let's didn't go. go inside before we showed up that way we can both go inside at the same time We're home. It's a huge kick in the nuts that so you can't you know? romance Sai. I was cleaning up and found this. <gasps> this is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. Y you went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? That's... Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Why aren't you saying anything? Why did you keep it? I mean, it was memorable. Explain. Explain. He said explain kind of calmly, even pounding Can't the table. Explain. You know, you would more you would expect if him to up, slam the table and be like, "Explain." No, he said, explain, while banging the table. Uh, I'll explain everything. I'm talking to Futaba here, you know. I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Did they trigger a change of heart in you? <laughs> How about it? Ever since Mom died, I... There was n no exit. I was trapped in, in a labyrinth of my heart. I knew I had to leave it, but I, I couldn't do it by myself. Futaba. Here, sit down. I can at least listen to what you have to say. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart it's the same as mom's research they changed my cognition seriously <sighs> wakaba's research about altering one's cognition i wondered about it myself too but still
when she said she was going to go to the beach out of nowhere. Even the doctors had thrown in the towel. <laughs> At first, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here, day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow! I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. So, Jiro. But to think that Wakaba's research and the phantom thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. Back in the day, I used to be a government official. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. She said something odd when we were out drinking, that one of these days, she might die a bizarre death. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. But it happened exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? And then, there's Futaba. You always seem to be linked to these incidents somehow. Got anything to say? Ah. Uh... You know what people call them? Criminals. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! Asked? Stole? Uh, um... Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? But he doesn't just deal with the Phantom Thieves. He's actually one of them? <laughs> You're pulling my leg, aren't you? What should I say here? Should I just flat out say it? I, I guess. May as well. Are you serious? You really are a Phantom Thief? Oh, for crying out loud. Sojiro! So, basically, I've been sheltering a phantom thief for the last six months. And on top of that, Futaba's involved too. What the hell? I... I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Wait, it killed? She was killed. I... remember it now. Stop this nonsense! Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way mom died wasn't normal! Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro! When she passed away, I did think it was odd. It was awfully fishy. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. Run away, hide, and end up here as some old guy running a cafe. To be frank, I took you in for my own good. Like it somehow make up for what I'd done. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. And I end up getting consoled by her. God. Real pathetic, aren't I? I mean, the one who killed Mom's the one at fault! <sighs> I see. Don't worry. Even if you are the real Phantom Thieves, I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out. <laughs> I mean, who would believe such a story? 
Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the Phantom Thieves. Let me just say one thing, though. Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. Don't you get it? If, by chance, you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba, then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? We're done talking about this. Come on. Time to eat. All that yelling's gotten me hungry. Whew. If he turned us in, that would have jeopardized our operation. Still, we should tell the others about what just happened. Oh, I'm tired. See, that's how a great parent acts. Sojiro was confrontational, but he kept a cool attitude. I almost lost the word there. And he understood. He heard us out. He listened to reason. And you know, he accepted it is what it is. He wasn't like, I forbid you to do this anymore. It's like, we can't. We're still doing it. We already are doing this. See, the reason I say all this is because, you know, not only have I seen my fair share of getting yelled at by my parents, but I've also witnessed a fair amount too. Because uh, when my sister was in high school, she was a bit of a troublemaker. And my dad was very loud, let's say that. You know, he wasn't calm, but still assertive like Sojiro was. He was very loud. Yelled quite a lot when trying to discipline my sister when she was uh, in her misbehaved teenage years. You know, I got I got yelled at a couple times too. I wasn't the perfect kid throughout high school as well, but certainly not to her level. Oh no, my sister got in way more trouble than I ever could imagine. Hmm. Well, it doesn't really matter. But regardless, you know, during CPR, we reviewed a bunch of stuff. We had the mannequin, we did chest compressions, all that stuff. And uh, like I said, we had a quote-unquote test at the very end, just to test our knowledge. <clears throat> We're gonna win, no matter what. My instructor was very lax about it too. She was like, you know, if you wanted to do this with your partner, then you can. <sighs> You know, I'll, I'll just pretend like I didn't see anything. Hey. Because, you know, uh, it was two people per desk. We got, we got an Ouija board. No thanks. Uh, let me return this. I don't want that. Uh, can I... <laughs> now that I got yelled at, can I see what I can buy online? No. Sorry. Well, Sojuo was going to find out sooner or later. Uh, no, you can sleep on the bed. I'll sleep on the sofa. But uh, yeah, you should probably go home or he'll worry. I can walk with you to make it a little less awkward. No? Oh, wow. Okay. I'm assuming I can't do anything. Nothing. Or I can sit and contemplate. Yep. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna go straight Whoa. to bed. You know, I, I even said that the CPR class went from is supposed to go from nine to five, but we finished that early. The speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido, who may be forming a new party. We actually finished around 4 p.m. We now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. But because my ride... designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives. I told my ride have decided that to award anyone I would end at 5. Leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. I still had to wait till like past 5 to actually leave. Look, 
those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. And considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further... If I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen for it. Jesus Christ, I just looked this up. 30 million yen in Canadian dollar is... 284,708 dollars and 55 cents. To USD, that is... 200,000, wait, 209,299 dollars and 89 cents. Uh, yeah, that's insane. That's a lot of money right there. I hope you understand the situation you're in. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the Phantom Thieves. And it'll happen every day, even at school. Why did this happen? Uh... There was no choice. I would I would explain everything to him, like how it happened. There was a terrible teacher. We kind of just stumbled into the metaverse, and it kind of just happened. I would explain all of it to him. That may have been true, but still. Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. All I can do now is give you shelter. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, all right? Uh, yes, I do know. I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. Thank you, Sojiro. I feel bad about what we've done to the chief. I'm responsible too. Oh, God! Hey, great! I'm amazed no student will, you know, call up that phone line, that line, and be like, I got some news on the Phantom Thieves, I got some intel. What is it? The Phantom Thieves, or one of them is a student from our school. It's like, who is it? I don't know. I just know one of them is. You said any info on them? Now give me my 30 million yen. Mm. All in all, like, I expected to be there for eight hours. I was there for, well, I was still there for eight hours, but seven of them was actually in the class, in the, well, yeah, in the class. You know, the professor was nice, fun. She, she made jokes here and there. You know, it was CPR. She even pulled out the reference, like, to the stomp, the stong, the song "Staying Alive" by the Bee Gees. BJ's. Whoops. Wait, what are they called again? I gotta look this up. I, I got their name wrong, regardless. The Bee Gees. There it is. What the hell am I talking about? BJ's. That's something totally different. Oh God.
That stupid yeah. song just keeps Running playing. Away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. We'd be dumping everything we stand for just to save our own asses. I see. I take back what I just said. I can't let it end like this. Absolutely not like this. Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got a shiny munchlax today. Like not long. Wait, not not soon before I played this. Not long. Whatever. Hey, uh, it's me. Um, about me yelling earlier, being framed, and the added bounty. It all felt like such bullshit. I lost it. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I know how you feel, man. You We're all in the same mess. We're wanted criminals now. Maybe I haven't changed at all since that time we went up against Kamoshida. I wanted to be a phantom thief because I thought even someone like me could be a hero. It made me so happy to be depended on. Guess it all went straight to my head. I thought I could do anything if it was for justice, but that'd make me no different from our targets. I called them shitbags, but I must be the shittiest of shitbags. I can't even joke about it. No, nonsense, Ryuji. You can't even begin to compare yourself to someone like Kamoshida. Uh... <laughs> You're right. I can start by changing who I am now. Thanks. I feel like I can think straight now. Oh, uh, I scared Haru and Futaba, didn't I? I'll have to apologize to them soon. See ya. So I got sent a picture of a tweet today, and here's what the tweet said. A gym teacher at my school got fired for being a word beginning with a P and banging a student. This is just like Persona 5. This is freaking awesome. And I replied like, I don't think awesome is the right word to say here. I don't think that's awesome in the slightest. I sent it to my boy who might be watching right now, and he, he replied, just wait till they hear about politicians. <sighs> so, today was a Saturday. So yes, I did have to go to campus, go to school today during a Saturday and spend, like, Almost we nine hours there. Moment. There's no point fretting about it now, though. Let's just stay calm and wait for tomorrow. Was I happy to go to school? A, to a school I hate on a Saturday? Okay. No. Was I happy to spend, like, almost nine hours there? No. But I did get a very memorable experience. And that is that because today was Saturday... Damn near nobody was on campus. No, almost no one was at school. And so for the first time ever from me going to this damn college, the first time ever I was there and it was, it was silent. It was empty. It was actually quiet and peaceful. And I'm just like, yo, this is quite an experience right here. There's almost never a reason for me to come here during the weekends. So there I was, like, uh, during break time and after the whole thing was done. Oh my god. A homunculus. Oh jeez. Salvation crown. Save many people. Yeah, now we're going to the good stuff. The, the expensive stuff. You know, the exclusive stuff. Uh, I'll take one of everything, please. My god, that was expensive. And so was this. Holy hell, this is very expensive. Oh my god. Oh, my- it's down to sevens now. Mm. Any more? Wait a second. I don't really need more of these. Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna buy everything this time. Because I'm already at the highest ranking, so I'll just buy... Well, not everything I need. I'll just buy what I feel like. He didn't say anything this time for me buying out everything he has in stock. 
He's like, thank you, Mr. Joker. You spent a total of this much now. He didn't say none of that. It's probably because I already maxed out. So can I? Oh. Uh, let's finish that film. Nope, it's a... Wait, is it a film or a series? Whatever. Doesn't matter whether he's a zombie or not. Stranger is just another word for enemy. Right. Sir, wait! I, I'm human! I'm still human! Does, it's a story about people trying to... Oh, we already read that. Sounds like, what, season two with Randall? Because, <sighs> you know, in the zombie apocalypse, it's not just the dead that are a threat. It's the living, too. Oh. But yeah, the school was empty. And that was awesome. I went to like a, a pretty secluded spot to eat my lunch because I didn't really know anyone who was actually in my CPR class with me. So I just sat there in silence eating my cream cheese bagel and my Starbucks. Okay. Nobody came. Nobody walked by and it was freaking fantastic. And by the end... You know, when, when it was all over and I had like an hour of time to kill, what I did was I walked around my entire campus in dead silence. There were a couple people here and there that just passed by. An issue in which criminals do whatever they want under oh, he's there in person. I thought the, I thought he was on the Jumbotron. Only now does the government speak of taking countermeasures, but their actions are too little, too late. The government as it stands has been left behind the times. It is obsolete. We don't have to go down with a sinking ship. We have the power to change this. The sinking ship? The ship? Let us end this chaos through my hands and yours. No, let's not. Let's, He's a politician let's prevent of the, party, the chaos that you will cause. I heard cause. splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. Uh, he should until not. Now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. Man, shut Politics up. Politics just never interested me before. But this politician seems pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I, I don't suppose vote. that makes sense since the other politician seems so unreliable. Man, the most, the most possible unreliable politician is the one who's getting all your votes. When you say that you want us to cooperate with you, what exactly do you intend us to do? That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? Quit effing around! Yo, Ryuji, chill a little bit. Ch calm There's down a, bounty for information a little bit in addition to the arrest warrant those are quite desperate measures I'm referring to Sai San's actions I assume all of you are at your wits end as well she must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far make headlines with the arrest warrant then use incentives to get testimonies it's not a bad method the police have nothing on us there's no way they can make an arrest true I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. However, the groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. We don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it! I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in sai -san. I've already discovered that she has a palace. Huh? Really? Is this to prevent the investigation agency's records? Haru looked around like no one's reacting. Precisely. I guess I will. Huh? Still, really? There's no need to change your heart just for that. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? Are you saying the police would do such a thing? Not surprising. It seems they're more trusted than I thought. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. No! They're completely rotten! My objective is to find the true culprit. Liar. That must be the case for all of you, too. We're However, already the found the current him. situation is extremely bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? 
Our only solution to this is to make Sai-san come to her senses. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. So that's why... The truth will be covered up. And an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. I can't allow such a thing to happen. My own ethics won't stand for it. I mean... I guess I can understand how you feel. And changing Sai-san's heart will be to protect her as well. How do you mean? If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? I'm certain they'll aim for her life. She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. Damn, Akechi. You gave us motivation, so too. Will you agree to my plan? You even thought up of a reason, a valid reason. Just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing Sai-san's heart. She'll be a fine warning to others not to meddle with you any further. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. <sighs> Makoto knows. What do you mean? You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested, aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? I don't think it's a bad deal for either of us. Makoto, what's your take on all this? It's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. I'm flattered to hear that. Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek justice? Because of sickening human beings. Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. It isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal. It's simply an absurd grudge. And extremely personal. Dude. You know, doesn't he remind you of us? I can't really explain it, but I guess it's how some disgusting adult pissed him off. We're similar, hmm? Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai-san's heart? Are you late? A little bit, but you didn't really miss much. Uh... We will. You, you, you said, you spelled out late like lowercase l number eight so i thought i almost read out loud am i 18 uh, for some reason i almost said that out loud thanks <laughs> i was actually rather worried there this mission can't succeed without your cooperation after all the phantom thieves will be disbanded and everything will work out i pray it does mako-chan i'm okay i never brought it up until now but the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is because I wanted to change my sister's heart. I was hoping I wouldn't have to resort to it, though. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. Why didn't you tell us? It was too selfish of a reason. Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me. So no, I'd like no, to get myself not. accustomed to it too. No, it's I not sorry, new to you. I None of it's new have to you. Today. I see. That's unfortunate. Will you tell your sister about this? Of course not. It's just You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? I just can't make time today. Let's call it a day then and resume this tomorrow. I'm sorry, everyone. Wasn't Makoto acting a bit weird? We are talking- oh, Yeah, this is about her sister. Well, I guess that can't be helped. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. It's still a kick in the nuts that we can't romance Sai. Can you imagine romancing both sisters? 
That's terrible, but this is a video game. A palace? In me? Not only that, Goro Akechi? Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? Correct. And he had already experienced the metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? Oh no, he I experienced it long I ago. Mean, he never said a word. Although, his attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi-kun kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a phantom thief? If this is all true, I was out of the loop the entire time I led the investigation. What a joke. There's no possible so way you could have known. you became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? Maybe a little bit. No, I'm kidding. Uh, that's right. That does make sense, more or less. If you simply wanted to evade capture, triggering my change of heart wouldn't guarantee anything. Your actions as phantom thieves would still be met with hostility. <sighs> no. If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? Uh, I don't like any of these answers. <sighs> I'd rather not stay silent, and I don't want to say this. I guess... I don't like any of these options. <laughs> Perhaps I'm overthinking things. Damn, it's been like what? Hey, you need to keep your focus. It's been like 85, 90 hours since we last saw that. It seems you're completely worn out, but the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? That's like what? Almost three complete days three to four complete days of 24 hours uh justice wins in the end i'm amazed it seems you can still talk when you were arrested a man at the scene told you that you were sold out correct those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor however if your story till now is true one reason can be concluded it's frustrating to admit but at a certain point no, most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. Well, given how one of our allies is a literal detective working for the cops, I think it's fair to say who was the traitor. You know, for a split moment, for the, the splittest of moments, at the very f the, the very first time I played this game, I had a hint like maybe it could be Makoto. She's like, I just can't do this to my sister. I have to rat them out. But clearly not. All right. I'm talking the very first time I played this game. No. And didn't I'm know anything. I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. There's something I need to confirm with you. Was a change of heart triggered in me? What happened no. in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Tell me everything. Like, I had a suspicious... Like, a suspicion? It could be Makoto, but, you know, I didn't truly believe it. What's this favor you need? It's late already. We'll be going to Nijima's palace, so I want to look into her. Things like her work ethic and relationships. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. Those would help us come up with countermeasures in case we hit a roadblock in her palace. I can look up more, you know. Stuff like her repertoire of underwear. Sure! A girl shouldn't say things like that! You tell her too! I'm only kidding, of course. Uh, <laughs> what else can you dig up? Yeah, we need all the intel we can. Was her cup size? I'm well, sorry. I'm kidding. Like I'm kidding. With men. You're phantom thieves. Ahem. I mean, also, hey, Futaba offered. Maybe overthinking it, but my voice. Ow! Same as always. Let me finish first. <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into. And they muffle it all just so you 
Just so you won't get spoiled. So, uh, so... So after my class was done, I walked around the empty school to, you know, pass the time before I got picked up. So I was basically walking around in an empty school with a couple of people here and there. But what I ended up doing was I just, because this is such a rare opportunity for me, I just took pictures of the school when it was completely empty. Like, I tried my best. I tried my best to take, like, liminal space pictures of the school. I'm not going to show you guys because... And I, that would that that would risk doxing what school I go to. But it's like, you know, there's only so much I could do in terms of liminal spaces inside of a inside of a school where there's doors and labels, like labels. This is a classroom, this number or whatever. But you know, long empty corridors, like empty hallways empty work areas, like office setting stuff. Like, I tried my best to take liminal pictures of my empty school, but there's only so much I can actually do. You know, I like looking at liminals, liminal settings, liminal pictures, like pictures of liminal spaces. I certainly don't like being there in person. And, and empty school is a little different. But you know what I mean? Like liminal spaces, like empty alleyways, Abandoned malls like I don't like being there in person But I like looking at pictures of them at least does that seem weird? So yeah, I tried my best to take liminal pictures of my empty school You know just for fun I had to get the, the right camera angle as well making sure like unnecessary unnecessary fodder isn't in the picture. Like, if the desk seems out of place, I, I would want to move around it to get that out of the shot. But for like... I, I did that for like half an hour, and then I sat down, charged my phone, opened up my laptop, gamed on my Switch. So this is the courthouse. You can tell it's a revolting building just by looking at it. Let's hurry up and get started. Akechi, what did you find out? I rarely get to see Sai-san directly, but I figured out her course of action. On the 20th, an investigation will likely be done at Shujin Academy. That's quite a while from as now. As well as the Sakura residence. For real? Then that means our time limit is November 20th. Still, there will be quite a bit of red tape involved. I doubt it'll take place before the 20th. We'll take your word. For now, we need to focus on infiltrating her palace. I concur. And we should probably get going soon. After all, people like us standing around here is quite unnatural. Well then? <gasps> That's... Huh? What about my smartphone? Oh. <laughs> this is the model I wanted! You're so lucky! Is that the new iPhone? I'm so sorry. Until recently, Futaba was actually a... Uh, well... It's okay. Sai-san told me the gist. Oh, right. Akechi-kun, it may be best if you exchange contact info with everyone, too. Not just me. That's true. Ooh. <sighs> I'll send everyone's contacts to you later. Thanks. <laughs> Well then, I hope we get along. I'll do my best. You got a good personality and good looks? Talk about cheating. She's praising you, I believe. Then shall we get started? We need to figure out what Makoto's sis thinks this courthouse is, right? I often hear her call it a place of competition in which she must always win. A competition, huh? That sounds like Sai-san. It'd be unbearable if you were put on trial for a reason like that. Although, a competition means it's a match of some sort. Might it be a martial arts ring? Conditions have not been met. Then, perhaps a stadium? Or maybe an arena? Conditions have not been 
There are other competitions besides fighting and sports. Gambling then. Oh, she's right about How that. About no, wait. No. She's than right that, about gambling. There's pachinko, but does that count as gambling? Well, I guess there is we play many cards types of during gambling. A trip. What else is there? It must be a casino. They really not sly with avoiding the correct answer. See Sai in you. <sighs> well, it's time we head in. Then. You think of a place for gambling. What's the first place you think of? A casino. Not all that other stuff. Ooh, two animes in one part. You guys eating good today. Head right past there and keep a low profile. <laughs> That's it, huh? What's going on here? We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? Seems like it. Let's go. Right. Don't get to hear my man speak that often. <laughs> my, doesn't that look familiar? The courthouse is a casino. It's almost like we've been here before. Everywhere else seems to be a normal cityscape. Oh yeah, it's all coming Isn't together. That... The police station, yes. I didn't know that the station and the courthouse were next to each other. Our attire hasn't changed. That must mean we aren't considered threats or hostiles yet. Right. Areas outside her courthouse palace must not be worthy of her attention. Wait, I always look like this. I'm special. Besides, I can't do anything in my cat form. The police station's also part of her work area, though. Whenever arrests are made for her cases. I brought her food and belongings when she was sent on loan to the police. Sent what we now? no business with the cops, right? This might be the metaverse, but I don't want to go in a station. Well, too bad. That reminds me. He'll need a code name too. Code name? Phantom thieves can't go around using the real names, right? It ain't cool either. And because we don't know what'll happen if we say our real names in the metaverse, right? We don't know what kind of risk risk is involved if we say our real names in the person's palace, right? Not just the sole reason that it ain't cool to use our real names. Just for reference, what is everyone else's? Skull. Mine's Fox. We pretty much decided on them with how we look, didn't we? What is it, Haru? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Then, perhaps Karasu will be best for me. You know, like a raven. Are your clothes all black or something? The reverse, actually. If our codenames are to hide our identities, wouldn't that be better? Karasu. He'd be the only Japanese-sounding one. Why not go with Crow instead? All right, from here on out, you're Crow. Got it. Now then, let's head into the courthouse. If he said his outfit resembles a raven, why not a raven? Why not just call him Raven? Well, whatever. Now then. All right. I don't remember how this game continues after this point. I think we go in for a brief moment, and then we have to go back out. I think that's how it is. Yeah, the song slaps! Uh, let's see... Uh... Take off on and give me a catchy. I'll go on for just a little bit longer. I swear to god, this song better not be copyrighted. At least this will give me a good sample. You know, if this part gets flagged, well, you won't hear any of it. I kind of didn't risk it the first time I played this. 
And I just completely blocked out all this music. Right, I'm supposed to come here. Wow, it's that easy just to get to this door? You need to you need to heighten up some security out here, Sai. So, this means we're acknowledged as a threat, correct? Dude, you planning on stealing stuff in that getup? It just means that's what he thinks a rebel looks like. I love how his, no, his outfit's color scheme is, is like almost the opposite of, a person of ours. Who sticks to their justice. Well, I think your mask is more apt for piercing rather than sticking. You know, ours is black with a hint of red, his is white aside, with a hint of the red. The people in here look completely normal. But we're in a flashy casino. There's no doubt this is a palace. Oh, right. Crow doesn't know too much about cognitive beings, does he? No, he does. Ah, yes. In addition to similar topography, cognitive people exist based on the ruler's perceptions. They're basically the backroom's didn't entities. Make much sense because all the fancy terms he was using, huh? They're like facelings. In essence, since these look like real people, Saison's view of others is surprisingly undistorted. Considering what I see before me, it's difficult to believe it is not actually a real casino. Not all cognitions are normal, though. In Futaba and Okumura's palaces, we had to battle them. People may look normal, but we should be careful. Particularly of those in positions of power. Is this what you have to go through every time? Uh... Yes, but this is the last. No, it's not. I'm glad to see you remember. Just don't slow us down, Crow. I will not allow that to happen. Okay, it's time we head inside. Our deadline for this infiltration is November 20th. Any later and we'll get caught in reality. Of course, we'll need to secure an infiltration route before we send out the calling card. As always. So the calling card wasn't merely for show? It's a necessary step? Will you please stop interrupting? My apologies. Well then, let's go. Dang, I can imagine someone playing this game for the first time so would be nervous. ecstatic to have a catchy finally join the team. I have something. Because I know I was when I first played this game. I know I was. It was like, finally, he joined the team. We knew he was going to at some point. It just made sense that he would. Just to get this, because why not? It's somewhere. Does all this look familiar? It's like, at last, we're finally here. And there was that thing I missed right there. I'm going to go back and get it. Because I want to. And you can't do a goddamn thing to do to stop me. I, I'm pretty sure I said that wrong. You can't do a goddamn thing to do to stop me? I think it, did I just say it like that? Whatever. You know what I mean. I can misspeak all I want, and there's not a goddamn thing you can do to stop me. Right, this, I can jump over there. That's a pretty big jump, too. Especially without, like, a, a running start. I want it all! I want everything! I can feel it. So I need to go over there. That silhouette looks nothing like Sai. Reminds me of... Actually, reminds me more of, like, one of Kaneshiro's goons. Let's see. Where do I need to go? Okay, so I just need to keep on walking down this. Probably should have figured that out sooner, but that's okay. There's a crawl. Can I please? Oh, I can't jump there. Okay. I was about to say, like, can I please jump across? Smoked cigar. I don't want that. How is that worth any money? So clearly can't go here. Indeed. It won't open. Could it perhaps be blocked from the other side? There's a blocked off crawl space here. So no dice there. Give me this tanned leather. Now that makes sense. In a way. 
In a way, that makes sense why this would that would be in a casino. Welcome. Come on out, you petty thieves. Whose lovely voice is calling out to us? Uh oh. Let us yes, that song did joker. indeed play that whole time. She is such a baddie in this outfit, ain't she? Okay, that silhouette looks more like her. Let's just take a look around first. I don't know what my dogs are barking at outside. In fact, I actually think I do know. Because my dad's friends are over again. And they always bark when they... Whenever they, like, go through the garage or whatever. Let's see what else I can pillage first. Oh, a treasure chest. Let's open it. Oh, I thought this was a safer. Joker. But where is that chest? Mine! Looks more like a briefcase than a treasure chest, but okay. Anything more? I can't believe we're already starting the next palace. It, it feels like I just got done con not Kanashiro's. <laughs> Why'd I say that? Is there a safe room nearby? Did it help if we can find one? I was about to say Okumura's. Why'd I say Kanashiro's? Looks like we can kick back and relax here. Ah, fine, I'll save the this. game. Fine. Why not? I haven't saved the game once yet this time entire playthrough. Well, not playthrough, this entire Let's part. Let's back to exploring. I can feel so nothing else for me to take here. So go to the elevator. Authentication required. Please insert your member's card. Member's card? Perhaps it bears relation to a player's club of sorts. I can't handle your technical speak. Just give me it straight. Casinos typically have a membership system called a player's club. Some locations even have areas cordoned off for particular ranks of player. Considering the setup of this place, I thought things may be similar here. That'll make this shit simple. Come on, let's join this player thingy. I would agree with you, but... A shadow! As I expected, registration will not be such a simple matter. She must be daring us to challenge the security of this place to make it to her. I accept. Here it comes! No need to worry. I'll handle this. I need to prove my worth to you, after all. Uh, yeah. I promise to surpass even such lofty hopes as those. You can leave this one to me. Take them down, Robin Hood. Taste my wrath. Pretty sure this guy's weak to bless, isn't it? Robin Hood. Or not. It's immune to curse. It's Maybe null to curse. Uh, 
Uh, don't I have a strong electric move? No, not that one. That one. Go down. You know, I would never go to a casino. Well, by choice. Like, if my friends go and I get dragged along, I would make sure I bring a set amount of money. Like, I don't know, 100 bones and cash and not bring my card with me. Because uh, I'm not risking it. I don't even know how to play anything. I don't know, like slots you put in the coin and you like pull the lever. And if you don't get all of them that match, it's like, well, too bad. Uh, I guess that's how it works. I think the only card games I know was like Slapjack. I don't even remember how to play Goldfish. I don't even know how to play Big Two. Like, I don't really know anything about cards or, or these kind of games. I don't know poker. I don't know anything. Alright, that was a nice little little taste of size. Palace. Now he's added to the group chat. Groups get group, group chats getting quite large, getting quite crowded. Why did they change his background to like a tan color? Still, still bothers me. It was originally like a grayish silver in the vanilla game. Why did they change it? I'm used to the old color, so I don't like it. <sighs> but yeah, I'm about to end this soon. This seems like a good place to stop. Yo, guys, uh, I think my sister's boyfriend's leaving right now. I think that's why my dogs are going crazy. Never any peace and quiet around here, especially when I'm gaming. You know, it's always my dad's friends are over or the boyfriend is here. So my dogs always go crazy whenever the door is open. And whenever I'm doing this, all that stuff happens and you guys hear all of it. You guys hear all that noise in the background. Never a moment's peace around here. Never any peace and quiet. But it's like, you know, what do you expect? When you have dogs, what do you expect? You know, it's like, when you bring an animal to the house, you're surprised that it behaves like an animal? You know, we're missing one person in this group chat, and she won't be in this group for quite a while. The crucial moment's finally here. Give it all you've got. I! Mashima, what's good? Things are really Things have really soured. There are even a bounty on you guys. But I said, do you think Mashima knows who the rest of the Phantom Thieves are? I don't think he really knows Yusuke. Like he sees, he sees the group of friends I'm with. Does he suspect that we're all Phantom Thieves or just me? They never made that clear. They 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 only made clear Mashima knows that us, the character, we are. A phantom thief. But uh, they never made it clear does he know anyone so people else. Are turning on us even in his survey? Our popularity is really at an all-time low. Why not just put out a public statement? Yeah, whatever. So the, the mission hasn't officially started yet, because you didn't see mission start fly by on the, the floorboards, and there's not a time limit in the top right corner that says how many days I have left. I'll just add this. But this is a good spot for me to end. So, we'll continue this next time. <coughs> wow, 250 hours. <coughs> 
Is that, is that it? 250 hours? Doesn't New Game Plus carry over the hours from the old game? Not old game. Uh, previous save? Previous playthrough and just add on to the hours? Yeah, it does? Cool. So I... have <laughs> 250 hours of my life have been poured into this game. And one minute. Okay, bye.